You're making me nervous. Why am I even looking at you? I don't know. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, definitely hit that subscribe button. This is your girl, Say It Chanela. So as you can see in the description box, you are gonna be getting ready with me. And I'm also gonna be trying on some new products that I got from Ulta from this really, really um, great brand that I heard about. It's called Juvia. So let me just show you. Ooh, I'm making a mess. All ready, all ready, all ready. So yeah, so anyway, Ulta had a great sale the other day. Um, they had, for these products, it was buy two, get one free. I still honestly don't understand how, you know how like when you go to Ulta or when you go anywhere and it'd be like, okay, um, buy two, get one free. And you can see it like, okay, all right, I get these two items and this is for free. But it didn't work like that. So what happened was they just took off um, whatever what the half was for each product. And I honestly, I really don't feel like that was a deal, but whatever. But anyway, I got um, this palette, eyeshadow palette. It's called the Zulu by Juvia. So I got this one, pretty cute shades. And I got some foundation and some concealer. I tried it on at the store. And it actually, actually pretty liked it. So I got it in this shade Savannah, which is for, um, number is 450. And I got the concealer. Let's see, the concealer is Magic Concealer number 12. So I got these two. I normally use the um, Fenty Beauty primer, but I was like, let me just try this. And also it was $6, so. <laughs> and I also had a... I have a lot of Ulta gift cards that I got for Christmas. Like that was like the number one thing on my list. So I'm just like, my, I'm barely spending my money for these products, which is um, a good thing. And I also got a, a foundation brush. So I got a brush from, which is also from the e.l.f. line. I can't remember how much it was. Let's see. Um, I had the receipts. I don't know where it went, but anyway, I don't think it was more than $7, but yeah. If y'all only knew when the last time I washed my makeup brushes, y'all be like, Chanel, come on. But yeah, so without further ado, let's 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 get into this video. So yeah, so I just um, washed my face with my clean and clear morning burst. So I used that. So now my face is nice and clean and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna try my hardness not to use my Fenty Beauty, especially my foundation. So the only products I'll probably be using outside of um, Juvia's is most likely my eyebrow pencil from Anastasia Beverly. Some people say Anastasia Beverly, some people say Anastasia, but I honestly think it's Anastasia. So I'm gonna keep saying it like that and I don't care what nobody say about it. Boop. So yes, yeah, so I always start with my eyebrows. So if you see me looking to the left, it's because I'm looking in my mirror. So I just actually went back to using the promade and I had to get a new one because it dried out. And I wish I didn't throw it in the trash because when I looked on YouTube, you know, YouTube have everything. So that she put coconut oil in it and it went from it being extra, extra dry to it going right back to this consistency. And I was like, dang, I wish I never threw it in the trash. I wish I knew that. But oh well. So yeah, and I got my eyebrows done today, y'all. Like, so this is about to be a breeze. It's about to take like five minutes. So yeah, so I'm getting ready for a 90s party. My friend slash soror her husband is turning 30 i know it's crazy like it's really crazy like all 90s babies like <laughs> we're, we're getting old out here early 90s babies not like 96 99 bloop i don't count them but anyway so yeah so i'm going to a 90s party tonight tonight so i'm trying to figure out what kind of look i'm going with because I feel like the 90s, it had like bright colors sometimes, and then it was like really neutral. So in my outfit, I have, I'm wearing like these neon um, biker shorts and an oversized um, white tee with some Nike, some slouch socks. We call them drop socks, but the proper way or proper term for it is slouch socks. So I'm wearing that. 
this scrunchie i'm going to since i'm glad actually it came with two so i'm probably going to have one around my wrist and one on my you know on my head i was gonna get some bobos but Brittany told me not to get them they hurt no they didn't it's gonna be fire so yeah so let me start with my brows so use my spoolie this is also from anastasia beverly too so, Brittany, what should we talk about, girl? We're going to be talking about... Matter of fact, you know what? what did, we didn't get to talk about our goals for two, 2020. Can you tell me, like, at least, like, three goals that you want? Yes, that's not even a lot. That's not even a lot. It is on the spot. Okay, so can you give me two? Give me two goals. You give me, Big or small? You give me your goals and then I'll think of mine. Okay. So one of my many, many goals that I have is that I really want to book an agent. Like, I really, really think it's time for me to get an agent and have someone who can take me seriously and can put me on to different... Like further your career. You can help me and further my career. And, you know, I do a good job of that myself on my own. But I think it's time for me to really, and not even saying invest because it's no type of money in exchange. Always remember if an agent wants money or a manager wants money up front, it's a scam. I feel like I'm ready to, for my agent to call me up and be like, Chanel, I got it. I need you on set for a show to be a serious regular or uh, Beyonce needs dancers real quick and I need you and, I, and they need a dancer. Can I send you over there? You know what I mean? Like I'm ready for that, like to put my career in someone else's hands for, for a change. So now I already told you one. Say with one, yeah. I know that's something with finances. Like I want to become finan oh. financially independent. Oh. Complete, completely. Like in a good financial place. Good. Oh my God. Can you can you say that again? Can Definitely. you bless us, girl? Definitely want that. Yes. Especially. Well, luckily you you don't have student loans, but only you yes, want to talk God. about it. Thank God. Because sis. I'd be like, was college even worth it? <laughs> it's a scam. It's just, <laughs> honestly, no, it, it is. is because is, it, it's crazy. It four years. Exactly. Honestly, the best thing that happened to me about college was meeting my line sisters. And like really like me and my line sisters, honestly. Because I'll be sad if I, because when you think about it, you're like, dang, like what if I never knew Granny? What if I never knew Nicole? It's like, like, wow, my life would be so much different. But I feel like if I would have went, if I would have took myself more seriously with dance and acting, who knows where I would be right now. I right. really feel like I would be a star, especially 18, fearless, straight out of high school. Man, I'll be a beast right now. But, you know, things happen and, you know, that's how God wanted my life to be at the moment. So, you know, I'm paying my dues or whatever. But another goal is my, of mine is to move to New York. I've always wanted to move to New York since I was a kid. I always see myself there. Always saw myself there as a kid. So even like with my family always there, I'm going there every summer. Before I even took dance seriously. I always wanted to move to New York. So I really, really, I really, really want to move to New York this year. I don't even care if, if I move to New York December 2020. I mean, December 2020, like before 20, 2021, I'm going to move to New York. So mark my words. Brows are done. All right. So let's move on from goals. So Brittany. <laughs> what? How do you feel about this? Oh, also, I'm using Boing. This is a concealer I use. Honestly, I'm gonna lie to you. I had this for about two and a half years, and I'm nowhere near finished with this. So anyway, so Brittany, what do? How do you feel about dating in 2020, girl? I'm laughing because I just started dating somebody. 
so yeah Brittany's new to honestly i'm new to seeing as you can see in my last couple of videos you are, I, I am I, i've been single for i've been single for a whole it's about to be eight honestly it's been a year actually it's been a year i have been i have been single for seven years before oh. now really okay. 10 oh for real. you say you just started dating I know, I said, I did, and then just like... I mean in general. I'm saying dating in general. Oh, um... I don't know. I, I've lost my, um... <laughs> Your mojo? My, I haven't lost my mojo. I mean, it's going okay, but I think you have to work extra hard at... Ooh, I missed my eyebrow up. Well, I don't know. Like, how is dating different back in the day? I just feel... Okay, let me just say this. I just feel like guys now... They feel like you got to pursue them now. <laughs> now, that's one thing I don't like. Yeah, it's like... like I'm chasing... Yeah, yeah. and my thing is, is that I don't want guys to feel like they got to chase us. I but, do. But, I'm, 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 <laughs> no, okay, let me just say this. I feel like there's a difference between chasing and pursuing. Okay. Like, I, mean, I don't I want don't, you to I don't feel... Want to play games. Yeah, exactly. Like I, don't, but... like, I don't have time for that. Like, I don't want you to feel like you got to be like... Apply pressure. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Guys yeah, don't yeah, yeah. guys don't apply pressure anymore. They just think like they're the prize. Not saying that we. Not saying there aren't guys that are out there that aren't the prize because there are great say, guys out there. Thankfully, he who shall not be named, who I'm dating, is pretty decent at pursuing. Good, and that's the thing. I feel like now guys just just. Even when you be going out, you probably be like looking so fly. You're like, why yeah, nobody trying to talk to me? Guys, I'm like, why? I look bomb. They yes. don't go smack anymore. Right. Okay, if you're not from the DMV, going smack is actually t trying to talk to somebody. And, and back in high school, like 2008, like men, you couldn't keep a man from hollering outside of a girl car, from from just walking up to you, be like, can you give me a chance? Now it's like, now it's like, now it's like, now it's like oh, women can come up to me uh no yeah it's like no. or like the whole dating oh oh i'm not i'm not paying for the i'm not paying for the bill like mm, that's not cute to me. that's not cute it's not and you sound stupid if you really think you're about to ask me out and you think that i'm not about to pay but okay so let me just say this i don't mind paying like i don't care like especially when that's when i talk to somebody i honestly i be, I, I be feel like a sugar mama sometimes because i really spoil the guys who i talk to mm -mm. <laughs> um, okay, not saying like spoilers for it, but I'm just saying like I, I don't mind like you know, oh like I don't mind taking you out like I don't mind that that's yeah yeah, yeah. yeah like I don't mind that or or, I mean, or like I, we go to the movies you I pay for the food you pay yeah, for the ticket or vice versa different. that's a different dynamic. yeah that's a different dynamic like if y'all go out and he be like I'll get this time and next like it's, yeah that's fine but if it's if it's more of a like if it's more so him like not even wanting to invest yeah it's like. It's these guys like, now make me, like make me feel a little special exactly it's just Dang. really not cute honestly and and i think social media and twitter just plays a ma major factor in it like they really think like i'm like what's good with you like Ugh. it's crazy it's no. really not cute like it'd be going like big debates on twitter about now, if, a guy, now if there's a guy that i'm dating and he honestly talks to me he says look i'm trying to work on because you know we're third like 30 ish you know mm -hmm. i'm trying to work on my credit i'm trying to pay you know my mortgage you know something yeah. like a, a an adult move and he says honestly can we go half on stuff for like a little while i don't mind that because if you're yeah. making moves that's not a character flaw that's like your you know what i mean but there's a right. difference between that and a cheap dude who's just like no i don't want to oh, right or or one of those um instagram and twitter people who just be like oh trying to do all this pump thinking on twitter when right. really it's an eight dollar bill and you're like let's split what right four dollars come on good back. come on but yeah girl i i don't know i don't know what's wrong with these men nowadays but so like what is your expectation now it's like now that you talking to somebody you know what you you kind of know what you want like what is your expectation now like i just feel like he has to be at a good emotionally healthy state exactly you know i can't have a 30 year old man acting like a little boy oh come on I come just, on you're preaching to the congregation i can't be your mom H hello I somebody i can't <laughs> 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 like, 
Like, I'm not looking for perfection anymore. Like, you used to be like, ooh, I need him to look like this. I need him to like this. Like, no. Character is where it's at in 2020 at 30 years old. Exactly. Character all the way. Hardworking. Hello. Epic all the way. Period. Treating me like Hello. a priority and not as Come a, on. No, no more. We talking. Nope. We're dating. You're my man. We're, we're Exactly. Ahead. I don't got time for this. We're I'm doing this back and forth. Mm -hmm. Power couple goals. No. Right. Those are my expectations. Exactly. So as you can see right here, I'm just feeling like I have so many freckles and sometimes I just have to fill them in. I love with, your freckles. I know, but it just be too dark sometimes. I'm just like, like all of, all up in here, all up in here. I just be like, oh God. It it looks cute sometimes with the with the makeup, but then sometimes I'm like, all right, all right, sis. Honestly, I feel you on honestly on everything you said. To be to be honest with you, and another thing with me is that I need you to be goal oriented. Like, I need you. To, I need to feel like, all right, you doing something with your life, right? <laughs> because sometimes expect. Like, well, I ain't about to because I don't know who gonna be watching this, but <laughs> I, <laughs> let me not be shady. But it's like. I need you to be motivated, be motivated, yes, or yes. or or to not like have be have this woe as me moment. Like everybody, like both of us can't have our woe as me moments. To like, I I don't we don't need that. Like we really need to suck it up, be upset for twenty four hours or less, and try to move on and try to make it. You know, try to make our dreams come true. And all right, so. The next product that I'm using is the e.l.f. I don't know if you can see it. Here we go. Is the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. I've never used this primer before. So I really, really hope it has my face looking flawless and smooth, but not yellowy. But yeah, so I'm going to put that on my face. Oh, it's nice. Oh, Brittany. Oh, my gosh. It has my face nice and this? soft. It's the primer, girl. Oh. Was this Elf? Yes. Oh, my God. It just feels so soft and smooth when you put mm. it on. Oh, God. Okay. Don't have no, those. seriously. I've never, <laughs> like, had <laughs> this before. Oh, God. All right. So, the next product that I'm going to be oh, trying God. out. Is the Zulu by Juvia's? I really, really hope that I'm pronouncing this right because I don't like pronouncing products incorrectly. It makes me a little sad. Alrighty, so alright, so this is the um, yes. oh, I definitely those the, colors, but I definitely got the wrong palette. I you meant to get a brown tone one. Yeah, I definitely. I thought you. I thought we went back and got it. I got the wrong palette. I don't want this palette because I don't do colors because I don't, yeah, want, you don't. I don't know how. Wait, oh, we went to, I thought you got the golden one. That's what I thought I did. Dang, I how'd you get, how'd you mess that up? Wait. Want to see how I recreated this look? Definitely keep watching my next video.